Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter, Donovan Klingon, who got drafted, what, seven overall to the Blazers, seven foot two, I think, in real life. He's listed as seven three in my team. I think he's seven two IRL. But looked like the best center in this year's draft, likely to be a really, really good NBA player and a card that I expect to be um, very, very good in my team as well. I'm excited to do gameplay with a massive shout out to my boy Frasman for letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay really appreciate that a ton uh and yeah before we hop into if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark in the channel on the channel i upload every single day would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it and let's start off uh with stats and badges obviously which are really good 7 3 98 offense 99 defense only an 83 ball that's going to be your biggest flaw 98 standing 90 driving dunk capable ball handler incredible defender super great rebounder good speed especially for a 7 3 player 95 lateral quickness 94 vert 97 strength he looks really good now the one thing that i will say about this card he is not as complete badge wise as most of these other draft cards next cards are so look at the gold badges first and foremost he added blinders dead eye limitless i think he added all of those because i'm pretty sure those don't come base other badges to add would be agent three slippery off ball handles for days open look spot finder that type of stuff and yeah he added ankle braces blinders comeback kid free points limitless range dead eye i'd probably replace like free points comeback kid ankle break with a couple other different shooting badges as well as handles for days but that's just me add what you want to the card to make them as good as possible now also would put a three-point shoe on him i will say that i just loaded in with the wrong with the wrong team hold on let's make sure we load in with the right team I think this card's going to be really good. Like, I don't want to take away from him at all in terms of what he is capable of doing on the court. But I don't know. The gambling only aspect of this card, along with all these other cards, is obviously very disappointing and does, I think, take away from a lot of the excitement about a card like this because he's not attainable for the vast majority of the community. Now, also too heavy to trigger behind the back, so it doesn't even matter what behind the back he has because he can't trigger it, but he does have Kyrie dribble style, which is really good, obviously. Uh, and, and Kimba escape as well. And as, as a 7-3 big who also has a really fast release, I mean, he's a dog. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. This clinging card is going to be about as good as it gets at the center position in my team right now he has a very very fast release that is easy to time easy to green in addition to super good sigs despite obviously that um the behind the back not being exceptional he still has just phenomenal animations he's going to be an elite level catch and shoot big he's seven three with a solid player build so he's going to be able to guard at a very elite level and just overall he is one of the best cards in the game at the uh center position period i think when you compare him to other centers it's guys like him big z etc that are your top bigs in the game behind probably zach Eady. now i think zach Eady's probably your best big right now after that though it's this card big z wimby then it's probably Yao after that. But right now, I mean, Donovan Klingon is one of the three or four best bigs in the game, without a doubt. He's going to be incredible at the center position. I'm very excited to use the card. Let's hop into a game. Let's see what Klingon can do. All right, hop into this game. SGA, Dikembe Mutombo, Wimby at the four, it looks like. Beasley at the two. I mean, overall, really good squad. Jason Tatum at the three. It's a very, very capable team we're going up against. Gives us a nice little matchup here to see what this clinging card can do matched up against an elite level big in Dikembe Mutombo. So, got ourselves a heck of a matchup for sure. No doubt about it. Should be a good game and a fun game. And let's see what we can do. So, uh, let's start off getting on the offensive end of the court. I don't think I want triangle freelance. I'd be fine with four out, one in, but triangle is not going to do it. It. so let's make sure we get that spaced out properly there we go now crossover push the doll towards the rim hit it to cling and obviously this isn't probably uh he isn't really a primary ball handler like obviously he can do some ball handling but he is no by no means a primary at the same time does a nice job there of making the right pass and getting assists to start off the game and i'm totally fine with that because he didn't help off the pop in the slightest there to start that game so we'll see if he starts helping off the pop but stay in front just step up with what's what what's on cell just needs to basically get a ghost on sga I'm, i'll live with that there you go he got the ghost i wanted and Klingon showing the rebounding boxes out Wimby and gets himself a board push the ball up the court drive the ball over to Alex Saar Saar with pick and fade again same side has he attack downhill get to the rim hit it out to Klingon I had a dunk I should have just taken the dunk but you know what I'm 7-3 so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna call him to the screen and we're gonna quick slip the screen and we're gonna throw the slip and take our dunk beautiful stuff he's blinking but it doesn't matter that's by the way why you add the handles for today's badge no matter what the card is especially at this point in the year you add the handles for days badge if you can because it is 
one of the more important badges in the game just to prevent a card from getting tired when they're trying to do things off the dribble or just even on the court in general it's an important badge and i think a very effective badge and it really annoys me that this guy refuses to help off the pop at all right now so i guess we'll just go right back inside clinging cuts to the rim and gets himself a second dunk of the game and he is showing his inside big ability right now unfortunately not having much of an opportunity to show what he can do on the outside to this point but that's okay that's a great shot but he smokes it let's go run the floor again clinging stop on the break pop on the break i'll shoot that donovan clinging i smoked the jump shot no way i suck at this video game and he gets a wide open three with Wimby. He misses that too. That's crazy. Look at Klingon's arms, man. He gets in there and gets a board. That's impressive. Uh, Giannis cross. Ah, I tried to blow by him there with, with that crossover. It did not work. Quick slip the screen again. Drive the ball with Coach. I could take this. Um, I'm going to let the... I'm going to let the offense reset, and we're going to backdoor him. I'm just trying to cheese. I'm just trying to force force clinging buckets right now, basically. I'm going to be honest. I just totally just tried to force a bucket there. Didn't work, but that's okay. X switch this as well. Step. I didn't get high enough in time, did I? And he finally makes me pay. Granted, a 13% contest. I almost got there, but not quite. Um, backdoor behind him again. Hit it up top to Sar. I could shoot this as well, but I just... It's not an Alex Sar gameplay. It's a Donovan Klingon gameplay. I am really struggling to score with this card right now. Not because he can't score, just because we're not really getting the opportunities we need so far that's a great fade i gotta green that slightly late on that ah damn does he have normal fade i'm not even totally sure what fade he's got that is a disappointing possession though i will not even lie to y'all and michael beasley fading and missing we, we do get the stop on the inside have a chance to reset the possession but he gets an offensive board unfortunately contest again here just uh play through the screen this time beautiful stay in front good defense step here contest the fade and good worm animation wes Unsell gets the board but i saw clean worming wimbanyama there that's that's nice to see for sure drive the ball again yet again we have a mismatch yet again we don't really have an opportunity to attack the mismatch as much as we'd like in terms of on the perimeter at least and wow that's a bad animation did not get a drop step animation at all there that's just that's on it i i don't know what else to say he got a bad animation with limby speaking of bad animations but they give him a wide open three like damn get the defensive rebound i am really this is the problem with gameplay sometimes you try to force force feed a card like i'm trying to force feed donovan Klingon, and it doesn't work and it's just annoying because like he is not giving me anything and i am trying my best to force it to Klingon, but it's not working right now stop pop donovan for three there we go green light his release is butter by the way missed an open earlier missed an open fade as well both shots i realistically should have hit his release is amazing you see it right there did not need much space at all stopped and popped that's not something you expect a 7-3 center to do is shoot that ball so yeah my plan perfect right now not exactly is that okay i think so why are like alex sar bro you're right in perfect position to get a contest on that we just let beasley put it up and in i guess um come set me one please clinging uh please anytime now any day my brother any day popper again i should really just take my dunk i think i'm gonna start taking my dunk you know what i'm just gonna take my dunk um slip the screen again catch and dunk i like this card a lot even being kind of tired of a couple of these possessions he's out here hooping and i love what i'm seeing um has knocked down a three ball off of a very challenging off the dribble play so that was a really nice play for a center um and as just as a whole i like what i'm seeing out of this card right now we're struggling a little bit score wise but i think we're struggling more score wise than anything else because of the fact that i'm trying so hard to force my offense through a guy that really is not all that open for the most part but he's got nine points three rebounds could easily add a fourth there but sar winds up with the board this time instead uh back it up again and we're just gonna back it out and make him work make you play defense and i guess fine i'll take a dunk fine if you're gonna just refuse to help off the pop a single time i'll start taking my dunks i've literally passed up on at least five dunks this game at least four maybe five i don't know a bunch of dunks this game just because i do not want to take dunks with my ball handlers i'm trying to get clinging open for catch and shoot shots but unfortunately 2k ain't really letting me do that this game so i don't know what to tell you cut off the dribble he's gonna get open he's gonna get fouled was that a three i don't know why i jumped did i just foul him on a three or four seconds left in the game i did i did i did it is a three gosh dang it bro okay four seconds left mr Klingon, opportunity for a game winner that's what you love to see um call a timeout advance the ball i'm probably just gonna try to like cut to the rim and dunk with her or something or maybe i'll send a back door i'll pass it to one of my guards and send a back door but i will tell you this donovan oh he's out why is he out of bounds i mean bro get it back to him donovan Klingon, gold limitless I missed! Oh my gosh, I suck! He was open, but it was deep for Gold Limitless. At the same time, I think that was a greenable shot. Oh my goodness, I stink. And now we go to overtime. 
That is tough. I mean, you're not going to get much of a better look. And maybe he's not the most incredible shooter in the world, but that was a shot that I should have made, especially with added gold limitless range. I feel like that's a shot I probably should have been able to make. And unfortunately, I didn't. My bad. Um, win the tip. That's good. You know what we got to do? Bring this boy, Glenn Rice. Bring Mr. Rice to the ball, please. This guy, Glenn Rice. And I'm going to, you're not doing it. No way, right? No way, right? No way, right? No way, right? You're going to give me a shot with Donovan Klingon to win the game and we drill it. That was a confident shot, too. Not an easy one. Not even wide open. But 12 points, three rebounds, one assist, five of nine, two of five from three. Donovan Klingon. Hey, we got a dub. I'll take it. I didn't play perfect by any means, but this card is really good. Great size, great release, super solid movement. Yes, he needs handles for days added and some other shooting badges for sure, but he's a really, really good card. Hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.